welcome back for more Skyrim with Requiem. I'm playing with the three tweets mod on my Khajiit with one handed and illusion being the primary skills going through the Thieves Guild quest line. And I have no particular sneak ability on this character, so we're just gonna go through like a like a thieves skilled thug and um, just kill all the guys that are in the way. That's the plan. Uh, let's just have a quick snack and just go for it. Um, and I think I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this character build that I'm trying because um, I've done an illusionist before and I've done a one-handed light armor character before and both were good but slightly incomplete and I'm hoping the combination will be uh, more effective. Ah, that's pretty bad for me. <laughs> uh, let's get a potion. Anyway, yeah, I'm hoping the combination of illusion for crowd control plus um, one-handed to actually dish out some damage is going to be effective. God. That is just not going well for me. Luckily, I've got blur up, so I'm not getting killed by that, but it's still pretty irritating. I just want to make sure I don't have um, guys coming at me from too many different angles. But blur is doing some work um, in that I'm, I'm wearing robes, but I haven't gotten killed yet, so that's, <laughs> that's pretty important. Uh, and I'm playing this character as Khajiit because my experience of both playing um, light armor one-handed, well, you need to be fast to close distance as well as dodge attacks from other melee enemies, so this 10% speed boost, it's tuned down a little bit in easy tweaks, but it's still really powerful, so that's really good. And when you play with Illusion, you spend a lot of time running around and trying to dodge enemies while they fight each other. Um, and probably get a little bit more activity like that once we actually do some close distance on these guys. Um, but yeah, having enough movement speed is pretty essential. Alright, now I think I've, I've thinned these out enough I can actually get inside. <laughs> I've never actually tried to come in this route before. I don't think ever... <laughs> ever in my Skyrim experience done it this way. Yeah, not not doing anything like a fair fight against these guys. Now I just want to find a key so I can get in easily. I'm not seeing one. arguably a f design flaw in Skyrim that it's so effective to just go in and kill everything <laughs> when you play as uh, through the Thieves Guild. I mean, it seems like you should be penalized or something for just slaughtering all the guards and breaking in this way. Uh, and it also seems like you should actually have to have some skill as a thief in order to accomplish this stuff, but it turns out to be good with a sword is sufficient. I'll see you. Still would like to find a key. One thing I'm noticing about three tweaks is my stamina drains really fast um, in combat. And it's possible that it's because I'm using an ebony sword. I haven't checked in detail um, what all the different
different weapon effects are, but I know like iron weapons I think have a lower stamina drain and it's possible that the uh, ebony weapons have a higher one because they're heavy. But anyway, uh, I don't have a lot of lasting power in combat. Also on this character, um, I have a pretty even split between life, stamina, and magicka. I've put quite a bit into magic so that I can cast my stuff reliably. Um, and so I don't have as much health or stamina as a dedicated fighting character might. Go upstairs first. It's been so long since I actually did the Thieves Guild. It's kind of... I've kind of <laughs> forgotten the layout of some of these areas. Because often I find the Thieves Guild questline to be not all that interesting. Um, so this is, this is kind of new. Did you hear something? Ha! Found you! Yeah! Um, let's take the fight outside. about using the fury spells is that whoever you tag with it is just aggroed onto you really really consistently because I think they count getting hit with the spell as like getting hit and so they just chase you around in a really annoying way but this is why <laughs> we want to be Khajiit with the high movement speed is for exactly situations like this. All you've got guys has the key. No. Yeah, pretty enclosed space up here, which is not really to my advantage. kind of careful to not use power attacks because I want to keep my stamina up. Yeah, and these guys... Wait, was that? That was a potion of insight. Okay, so I don't fully understand yet how Potion of Insights are spawned, and it seems like they can just be a random drop here and there, which is kind of cool to know. I've yet to be able to persuade this guy. It would be cool if I could. The question is, can I sneak past these guys over here with no sneak skill whatsoever? And I think the answer is probably no. of not taking any fair fights whatsoever. Another potion of insight, very nice.
And that's that. I'm gonna go return my quest. But first, let's just talk about the build for a second. So because it's three tweaks, each of these skill level ups has been very intentional. There are no accidental level ups except for skill books. So for this character, my main damage source is one-handed. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll probably grab another perk here pretty soon. And I'm leaning toward doing a sword focus because it's good for uh, the attack speed. I like that for my playstyle, but I haven't fully committed there yet. Not doing any archery. Um, I'm doing a full commitment into light armor. <laughs> uh, bless. Excuse me. I'm going to take all of these perks up here to keep my stamina management down. I decided to skip dodge because I just don't use it all that often. I decided on this character I'm not going to do any sneak or invisibility type of illusion spells just because in the later game that's just not all that useful. I know someone else has done an illusion mage uh, doing sneak attacks against dragons and stuff. That's not really my style. So I'm just going to skip sneak on this character. Lock picking, um, pretty much mandatory. I'm going to go up here eventually. Then pickpocket, not doing any of that stuff. Speech, I want to be able to sell stuff profitably. I'm going to take some of these um, doom perks eventually. Not doing any alchemy. Illusion, I'm going up all along the right side of the tree. I'm skipping the visual manipulation and the silence stuff because I'm not really doing a sneaky character. I'm just using illusion for crowd control. So I think I actually want to take this pain and agony perk. That seems cool. So I'm going to continue up there and I am going to take this one perk over here so I can do um, shadow shield which is just really strong. Anyway, not doing any other real spell casting. I did go up into restoration far enough to take the focused mind perk and I'll probably go up to enhanced magicka, a new three tweaks added perk, I'll get there eventually. Uh, but that's pretty low priority. Alteration, maybe later on I want the magic resistance, but for now I don't really need it. Smithing, I think I'm going to take, I'm not sure which of these smithing perks I want. Maybe I'll do Morrowind smithing or Elven smithing um, before I get up to glass and then draconic just so that I can make myself a good weapon. And uh, I'm not doing any heavy armor, I'll probably take one or two perks and block eventually because I'll want to be able to block against dragons. And that's the build. Basically I've just been using one-handed plus my illusion spells to kill stuff. So level 16, I skipped the early levels, um, at least video-wise, because, well, you've probably seen all that stuff a million times. But if you're curious how this character tackles the late game, stick around. There's going to be some more videos, and hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.